how to make an Alfred workflow. Alfred is an application that I use all the time for web development, and here is one of my workflows in action. So this is for my web development setup. I press Command Option uh, X to create my entire development environment. So as you can see, Visual Studio Code is running on the left, and my development environment is completely created and set up. So I have all of my npm run start running right here in a terminal window, and my uh, test environment is up and running right here at localhost 3000. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this right now. So to begin, um, I jump over to Alfred, and I'm going to create a new workflow. And it's going to be a blank workflow, and we're going to call this one test. Now that we have a test workflow, uh, the first thing that we need is a trigger. So we can trigger a workflow in a number of different ways. Uh, you can choose a hotkey. Uh, you can actually use the remote um, control app on iOS and Android. And you can use a snippet, which is a small piece of code that can be entered in Alfred's Spotlight Search uh, to trigger a different workflow. Um, I prefer hotkeys for a lot of them, but sometimes snippets are useful too. So we're going to start with the hotkey. Uh, this hotkey specifically will be command option V. And we're going to pass it to the workflow, and it doesn't require any arguments. All right, now that we have this one little puzzle piece, um, what we need now is to actually add an action. So what we can do for an action is drag this little tab out here. Uh, and once we let go, you can see that we have the option of opening a file, um, revealing the file in Finder, browsing in Terminal, browsing in Alfred, action in Alfred, opening web URLs, searches, running Apple scripts, and running terminal commands. So in this case, we're going to open a file. And what's really nice about opening a file using Alfred is not only can we choose the file, which is going to be my personal website right here, but we can also choose the application that we want to open it in, which in this case is Visual Studio Code. So once we hit save, um, now we have this little trigger right here connected to one directory, which is my personal website. And we're going to open that using Visual Studio Code. Now, just pressing this alone is great. And this can actually be really helpful. Um, so if I just close out of VS Code real quick, uh, and I press our hotkey right here, uh, Command Option V, suddenly we have Visual Studio Code. And it looks like we are, in fact, CD'd into my personal website, which is really awesome. But we can make it a little bit better by just adding one more step to this little workflow by adding the ability to go to Actions, Terminal Command. And now we can run a terminal command. So in this case, we are going to, let me just make this a little bit bigger right here. Uh, the terminal command that we want to run is going to be a cd to change directory into, uh, and then we're going to put the path to my uh, documents, uh, github, name of my website, and we're going to run npm run dev, which is my build command. All right. And now we can see whether or not our workflow works. So command option V. And as you can see, not only do we have Visual Studio Code, but we also have um, a new terminal window opening up and running npm run dev, which will open up a new instance of my website on port 3000. This is just one example of a workflow that I've created, um, but there are so many other workflows that you can create using Alfred. Uh, another one that I really like is, let's say we like this change. I can do a git commit dash am for all. And um, what's really nice is I have created another workflow right here called conventional commits, where I have little snippets of code that actually reflect the coding standards for how commits should be structured in the open source world. So this is the open source standard. Uh, for example, when you create a feature or a bug or work on docs, you can prefix your commit using something like feet for feature, and you can add little emojis like sparkles. Or for bugs, I can add a little bug and then have the word bug prefixed in all of my commits or docs. 
or styles or refactors, tests, etc. Uh, and this gives a little bit more structure to how your commits work. And I found that I wasn't really uh, prefixing all of my commits, but adding this in with a little workflows has made it so much easier to just add something really quickly. So for example, you can see if I just press um, my command spacebar to open up Alfred, I can type in docs. Let's say I worked on uh, adding docs and there we go. We have the little books emoji and docs prefacing this and I can say updated readme or something like that um, and then run that command. And there we go. All right, so there are a lot of different things that you can do with Alfred. I absolutely love this tool. Um, there's also a Spotify mini player that somebody on the web has created, link shorteners. Um, I have a script that can actually change the padding on uh, this window manager that I use called Yabai. Um, so I can type in laptop when I'm on my laptop and it will change the padding to account for the notch. Um, this is changing a configuration file and restarting Yabai, which is really nice and I can do it all with one press. As you can see, the padding looks really bad if I keep it like uh, this, but on my MacBook, it looks great. Uh, and if I wanna go back, I can go to external and it will change the padding back. Um, this is changing a configuration file using a script and then running brew services restart your buy to restart the service using the correct uh, configuration for my monitor. All right, so that's about sums it up. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.